Okay, what I did was I went ahead and uh, clicked on this plus sign here and I added a new layer for tire right there. We're going to create a tire that we're going to put on there. So what you're going to use is you're going to use your oval tool. So come right over here, click on this arrow right on the corner, grab your oval tool. What you want to do is you want to select your colors. Okay, so the inside of the tire is black and the stroke, you can make like a grayish color right there just to give it an outline. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start forming it. You're going to be in that first layer right there. Okay. So hold your shift key, click hold and drag, and make it round. There we go. Now you want to be in the drawing mode that's off. See that? If you look down at the bottom, we have it off. We have it selected off. We want it off for a reason. We're going to go ahead and cut some notches into the tire. Okay? So everything else is locked. So let's go ahead and hide the body. Okay, let's hide everything actually, except for the tire. There we are. So there's the tire right there. Let's move it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and magnify that. All right, there we go. So now, see, we've got a little bit of stroke there. So it's a little bit thick, but that's okay. Let's see how big it is. Properties, stroke is nine point. I don't know, let's make it thinner. About two or three points will work. There we go. Just want a little bit of a stroke there. All right, now, what you're going to do is you're going to use your oval tool to cut notches all the way around. And you'll notice... I have my rulers showing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to divide the circle in half, right about there and right about there. Okay, so now to be able to know exactly where the center is, select it all. Okay, let's get rid of the guides. Command colon. Okay, let's get rid of the guides. Let's go ahead and move this up here so we can see where it's at right there. Click on it. Now if you click on it there, see that? So select it all. Grab your free transform tool and you can see the registration mark right there. So now you want to move that right in the center. And we've got it centered. You're going to need to center this for now, okay? There we go. So now, turn your guides back on. There they are. See how far off they were? So take it, put it right in the middle. Right there. Take this one, put it right in the middle. Okay? There we go. So now, you want to go ahead and turn your stroke off. You don't want to stroke. And the fill that you want is any color that you can see. So red, green, just something that you can see. You're going to use the oval tool again. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw a little, a little circle right up here. Draw a little circle for a notch. There we go. That'll work. So now take it and line it up right there. Okay, there we go. Click away. Click on it. So that you select it. Let's go and blow it up so you can see it. Right there. All right. So what you want to do is you want to select it. So click on it. There we go. So now what you want to do is move it away. There we are. So there's a notch. So then bring it right over here, right about there. Click away. Take it and move it over to another one. Okay. Click away and then move this down a little bit. You can use your space bar to go and move your canvas. Click on it. Move away. Bring it over. Okay. There we are. So we've got another notch. Now what we're going to do is, the reason it's doing that is because the reason it's got a little, little bit of a lip there is because of the stroke, okay? And we don't have a stroke around the circle, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and continue the process all the way around. So we got notches all the way around, okay? So I'm going to kind of hurry it up, guys, okay? And you can delete the last one. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the inside of the tire. So what we want is sort of a silver color. Okay. Right about there. Okay. And you can put a stroke or not if you want. Let's try it without a stroke. So now what we're going to do is do a circle. Okay. Another oval. There we go. So let's go ahead and grab that. And we're going to move it. Let's go ahead. You know what? Before we do, let's go ahead and grab our. That way we can line it up right in the center. There we go. So there we are. 
So now we've got the center of it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some spokes, okay? So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and, I don't know, bring another guide down. Another two guides to kind of help us. Not spokes, I'm sorry. Lug nuts, okay? To kind of help us center them. There we go. So grab your, your oval tool. And this time go ahead and make it black again. And you want to draw, click hole and drag just a little circle right there. Okay, right about there. Right. Now remember, if you put it in and you move it, it's going to go ahead and delete it. So be sure where you're going to put it. Go there. You can hold your Option Shift key, bring it over. Make sure you don't grab your your uh, your guide. Option Shift, bring it over. Okay. And it's not working. It's okay. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and bring it over. And sometimes the guides get in the way. So you know what? Kind of bring it in. Click away. Click on it. Make sure you select it. There we are. Option, shift, select, bring it over. Okay, I'm going to bring it out because it's not actually putting it where I want. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring it over. All right, right about there. Okay. So now I'm going to take these two. I'm going to select two of them at a time this time. Let's go and blow it up so we can see it. All right, there we are. Select that one. Select that one. Okay. What well, I'm gonna go ahead? Option. That way it copies them, and I'm gonna go ahead and move them down. Okay, right about there. That'll work. Okay. So now I'm gonna take one here, and I'm gonna hold my Option key, click hold and drag, because I want it like right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Option, drag. There we go. Six. Yeah, that'll work. Seven, eight. Uh, let's put eight. Okay. So, option, drag down here. Option, drag up here. There we go. Let's take a look at it. There we are. We're tired. These are off just a little bit. So, let's move that one down. You can, you can fine tune it. Okay. You can take this one and move it down. Remember, if you move it down, let's watch what's going to happen. See that? Take this one. You can move it up a little bit. And now what you want to do is you want to take your color picker right there, your eyedropper, click on it so that you got that selected. And you want to go ahead and drop it right in there. And drop it right in there. There we go. So now you've taken care of it. So there's our tire. Now we want this tire to rotate. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it all. I'm going to go ahead and select everything right there. And we're going to modify, convert the symbol. We're going to convert this tire to a symbol. This time we're going to call it a tire. There we go. Registration mark in the middle. Hit OK. All right. So this one is our rotating tire right there. OK. So now that's by itself right there. We haven't told it to do anything. And since we haven't animated our truck, we really can't put a tween here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to go within the timeline of it. Okay. So actually, let's delete it right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take it and we're going to rotate it. So we're going to put a tween. Right click. Create a classic tween. That's going to give us 24 frames. So let's go 24 frames with everything else. Okay. Right over here. 24 frames. Right there, hit F6, function. It's a function key, okay, F6. There we are. All right, so we haven't done anything over here yet because we're gonna go back to our first frame. We're gonna turn everything on. Turn everything on, okay? Let's show off. All right, so there it is right there. Let's make it a little smaller. There we go. So now we gotta position our tire where we want it to be. Let's put it right down here, okay? So there we are. So now what we want is we want that tire to rotate. So we've gone ahead and we've told it what to do right here. We've told it to go ahead and put a tween in there. So if you if you click on it and you select it on the on the canvas, it's not gonna do anything. So then select the first frame and you wanna go to counterclockwise. There we go, all right? So that it's not doing anything yet. So come over here to the end and function key. So what you wanna do is hit F6, so now you've got two of them. See what it does? It rotates. 
Okay, now I only have one there. So let's see if we can duplicate this. Add another layer, okay? Call it back time. All right, so what I would do is, I would just take these frames right here, okay? And I would copy them. And you can even duplicate the layer. That's probably the, the smartest thing to do is duplicate the layer. But since we did this, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and copy frames. Click on the, this one here, let's paste frames. Okay, so now it's right, right in the same place. So what we gotta do is we gotta move it. So let's clear the last frame. Well, no, let's do the first frame right there. So I'll hold your shift key, click, call, and drag right over here. And to be exact, come over here where it says information, click on it. So now it tells you exactly where it's at right here, okay? You can go ahead and write those numbers down to be exact. Because if you come over here to the end, you're going to notice it's still right here in the front. So you got to move it to the end. So now what you can do is... You can move it freehand and then hope that you get there. But since it's a box like this, you can actually use your guides. Watch. There you are. So take your guides. What I would do is take this guide here. See how you can move it? Take it and move it. Okay. Put it right on the edge right there. So you can see the tire there. Take this one right here, right at the top. Right there. Okay. So now you know exactly where to move that tire. So come over here. Hold your shift key. Bring it over. Right about there. There we go. Now look. Look what you got. Now you got two tires. And they rotate. And they're within your truck. So let's go to your main scene. So now, what we're going to do is, you guys are going to end up putting it on your, right over here. Right on the, right on the outside. But I'm going to put it right in the middle just so that you can see it rotate. Hit a new layer. Call it truck. Layer, bring your truck right in there. Library. So let's go to truck. Right there. See, it's got tires in it. Click call and drag. Now I'm gonna leave it nice and big just so that you guys can see it, but I'm gonna put it within the frame. That way you can actually see it. There we go. I'm gonna move it up. There we are. So now there's the truck tire right there. Or the truck with the tires. Let's go to the end. F6. Okay, because you're gonna do F6 all along the way. But let's just do it there. Command enter or command return. There we go. Now you're going to line it up on the hills. That's what you're going to end up doing. Right now he's just going across. And you got to add a character in here. So you got to work on your character and work on your tires rotating. Okay? That's your assignment. This is a BTV production.